In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. So good morning, everybody. I'm so, so, so excited to be here to celebrate the first Holy Communion Day of Naomi, Sophia, Matthew, Aoife, Ethan, Tegan, Oren, Blaje, and Caden. My name is Father James. I'm delighted to celebrate with you and with your families alongside Father Emerson. Do you know the way all your mummies and daddies are the boss? Well, Father Emerson is my boss. So, Father Emerson and I are delighted to be here with you on your very special day. So, as we prepare to celebrate with all together this great celebration, we, are, we say sorry for all our sins. The Good Shepherd searched for his lost sheep. When he found the sheep that was lost, he was so happy that he called his friends to celebrate. God is like the Good Shepherd. When we get lost, God comes to find us. We will tell God who loves us about the times we were lost and when we wandered from him due to our sins. Oh my God, help me to remember the times when I didn't live as Jesus asked me to. Help me to be sorry and try again. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us when we are being selfish. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd who searches for us when we are lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, we come to you today in this great celebration. We ask you to be with us and to journey with us that we may go closer to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and can I invite Olivia and Kathleen who are going to come up over and read for us. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. John. Let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. If we love one another, God lives in us. This is the word of the Lord.
second reading, St Paul wrote this letter to tell people what happened at the Last Supper. My friends, this is what happened at the Last Supper. On the night before he died, the Lord Jesus took bread. He spoke the prayer of thanks over the bread and said, this is my body. Then he shared it with them. In the same way, he took the chalice filled with wine and said, this chalice of mine is the new covenant in my blood. Then he shared the chalice of wine with them. Then he said to them, have this supper again in my memory. The word of the Lord. I invite you to stand. Alleluia, alleluia. He who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus blesses little children. And they were bringing children to him that they might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying them his hands upon them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Does anybody like balloons? Woo! I love, I love balloons. I love playing, I love playing with balloons. And I'm going to walk around here, if that's okay. And there's lots of different colours. Does anybody... There's green. Anybody like green? Mummies or daddies? Anybody like green? Do you know I like green? I like green. Maybe orange. But I like orange. It's okay. Does anybody like blue? Do you know why this blue is really special? Because it's the same colour as, as the uniform in Riverside. But do you know what my favourite colour is? Red. And do you know why I like it? Because my favourite football team were red. And before anybody shouts, it's definitely not my United. It's definitely not my United. It's Liverpool. Hey! <laughs> colours are really, really special and really important. Because colours awaken something in us that make us smile and make us happy. And your favourite colour can make you happy because it can awake something in you. And God's love is a little bit like that. Because, boys and girls, you received your first holy communion today. And God loves you so much that he wants you to know him and know his love. And just like your favourite colour that makes you smile, I really hope you smile loads today because you received Jesus in a very, very, very special way. So we're going to have a big party today. We're going to have so much fun and we're delighted to party with you and to celebrate with you today. Okay, so we're going to move on now and we're going to have our prayers of the faithful. It's Carmel and Laura are going to read for us. We pray for our family and friends who love us. Lord, hear us. Lord, We pray for Father James and Father Emerson who are here with us at our First Holy Communion. May Jesus help them as they continue his work. Lord, hear us. Lord, Thank you for Riverside School. 
and we pray for all the pupils and staff in school and thank them for their kindness and support. Lord, hear us. We pray for all those who are suffering during the recent pandemic and thank all those who help us in any way and care for us. Lord, hear us. Dear Jesus, to you each person is important. It does not matter what someone looks like, how much money they have or whether or not they are famous. Help us to see in others what you see in them. Help us to love like you. Amen. So now we move on to our liturgy of the Eucharist, when we, when we will receive Jesus in Holy Communion. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. I invite you to stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Can I just to sit or kneel, please? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out 
for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Can we can invite you to stand as we pray as Jesus taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. So can I invite you to kneel or sit, please? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. So now we come to the moment when we're going to go down and distribute Holy Communion. So we'll give communion, if we can, first to our first communicants. I think Carmel and Laura will come with me. And then once our communicants have received Holy Communion, then I, I will go back around and I'll invite 
if the rest of your family and friends, if you'd wish to receive communion, to stand to receive at that point. Is that okay? So those who wish to receive communion can do so now. Just stand where you're at and I'll give you communion, okay?
So well done, well done everybody. Just before we come to the conclusion, I think we have a parent who's going to come and do a parent's blessing. Um, now I invite you to come forward now. When you were born, our hearts were so full of happiness that there was no room in us for words. When you were growing, our hearts were so full of care for you that when we spoke soothingly and sometimes sharply, fearfully for your safety, but always in the deepest places of our heart, we spoke lovingly. Today, as we watch you moving forward with your friends, we marvel at all you have done and become. Our spirits sing praise to God for the gift that is you. And through our hearts, have, oh, and though our hearts have stretched to love others, Yet there is a place within us that is yours and only yours always. For the life you have shot in us, for the life you have called us to, for this very special gift of God you are now and will ever be. Thank you. you to stand for our concluding prayer. Loving God, each day we see signs of your love and goodness all around us. Bless these children who have shared in the bread of life today. May they know your love and protection. May they learn from the love and life of Jesus, your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So congratulations. I know there's I left some treats up in the hall um, immediately after. Just enjoy the rest of your day and, and thank you to your parents and teachers and all who have helped you prepare for this special day. You are all looking absolutely stunning. So may God bless you the rest of your day and going forward. And we'll give you a wee round of applause, won't we? So we... Just on behalf of myself and Father Emerson, Father Jane, just to say congratulations. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.